breaking my arm. Article 10 of the European Convention of Human Rights. Article 10 of the European Convention of Human Rights. Which your man take God? 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 I think that the Queen has been put in a very, very difficult position. Um, she's renowned for being a monarch who um, uh, respects the wishes of the Prime Minister, uh, but this Prime Minister doesn't have a mandate. You know, 0.19% of the population has allowed uh, this new Prime Minister to take his seat. We all knew that this move was coming to prorogue Parliament. It's a, it's a move by uh, the mastermind behind it, Dominic uh, Cummings. Uh, and this is a coup, and we've got to stop it. We have to pull out all the stops, cross-party, with Labour, with Lib Dems, with the Greens, Plaid, the, National, the Scots Nationalists, all the other parties um, must now organise at this pivotal moment of history and unite to stop this car crash um, of a government that I think it's their, in a way, it's their uh, death rattle of a dying party that has been out of touch with this, the normal people in this country for so long uh, with their austerity ideology. Um, and they were losing votes left, right and centre. I think this is a death rattle and I, they're seeing it as a last chance saloon because they failed to deal with the far right elements of their party. Suspension is necessary. We're talking. Well, what essentially we are talking about here is it's been done for tactical reasons. It's a, it's a, it's a regular event to suspend Parliament. Pre, so uh, ahead of further elections, uh, Queen's speech, etc., announcement of the agenda for the forthcoming government, etc. But it, in that, it's been used for technical reasons, and it, to some extent, it has been, and it's been used to defeat a parliamentary rebellion, a rebellion by a Parliament against the people, the violation of the sovereignty of the people by Parliament. Boris Johnson is a. Everybody knows it. Boris Johnson is a.